Hello, this is just going to be a brief video to clarify some points about the City of God read-along because I got some questions. Um, so first of all, the um, I, I posted the um, PDF link. Oh, I wish I knew how to do it. I would I would post it in this one, but it's it's in my previous video. So I have to link to that somehow. I wish I knew more how to do things more technological. I'm just not good at it. But anyway, I did come up with this reading plan for the whole year. Starts in January, ends the last week uh, in 2022. I It's formatted to be small enough so if you wanted to, you could just sort of tuck it in your book. You know, if you cut it off, you could just tuck it in the front page, um, fold it a little bit, and it would be, it would fit. Um, so the way I did it is I am using this particular edition, and it's just because it's the one I have, and it's the um, one that the the professor, the theology professor who led the Twitter read-along that I tried to participate in um, wasn't successful, but I did, you know, at least listen in. I audited it. it um, so this is what he recommended. So this is the Penguin Classics, and it is translated by, I believe, Henry Bettinson. So that's the one I'm going to stick to, and I use this, this particular edition, to create this timeline, I mean, this reading plan. But I also made it so it didn't matter. If you got another edition, another translation, you could still follow along. So for instance, January 1, week 1, it says book 1, which is page 5 in my edition, to page 26 in my edition, to number 17. And that's the key. As long as you know the book and the chapter number, then you can just use any other edition, I believe. So, so for instance, if I go to page 5 here, this has a big introduction. Um, so let me go through that list of abbreviations, that sort of thing. Part one. Well, you know, before I even get to that, let me show you what I have as a table of contents. So here's the table of contents. You see that? It's in two parts. There's part one that has 10 books. And then part two is a uh, book 11 to uh, 22. Okay, so that's how it's divided up. So what you do is you go to the book, the so book one, which in my edition starts on page five. Let me get to that. Um, yeah. Okay, so book one, but then the paragraphs are numbered or, or there's subgroups that are like chapters. Um, in the other edition I have, they call them chapters. Here they just number them. So you're going to read up to 17. So up to, let me see if I can find it, the chapter 17. Where are the paragraph? So, right, so here. So do you see that? So up to 17. So, and it really means up to. You don't have to read 17. You just, you're going to pick up at 17 the next week. So that's how it works. So each one is done like that. Like um, then January 8th, week two, I give the page number in my edition, but you're starting with number 17, and then you're going to read through the end of book one. When well, my edition, that's about 20 pages. So I tried to make it around 20 pages, 21 pages, that sort of thing. So you could read just maybe three or four pages a day if you did it seven days a week. I, I, I didn't want it to be overwhelming. So you can use this even though you have a different edition. Now you have to be really careful because there's a lot of abridged editions out there. And so I think that it probably you're going to want either this one, which is easiest to get a hold of, I think. But also there's another uh, translation by Marcus Dodds, D-O-D-S, which is unabridged. And that seems to have an audible to it. So, and I, I listened to two of the audibles that they um, have available. One it was narrated by Bernard Miles or Males, M-A-Y-L-E-S. And he's very 
British sounding, almost like Shakespearean. And that to me won't make it easier to comprehend. So I didn't like him so much. And then there was another guy, and I can't remember his name, who did another uh, audio book. And he also had a British accent and it was a little bit easier to comprehend, but I felt like he didn't really know what he was saying. I don't know, I just listened to a little snippet, so I don't know. But but the, I went to LibriVox, which is free, and there's a guy, I think his name's Daniel Snyder, something like that, um, reads it, and he's American, and he actually sounded like he knew what the words meant. I think all three of those are the Marcus Dodds translation and not the one that I have, the Henry Bettinson. So uh, if you want to use an audio version, I think you could try to use those. I mean, they're basically translating the same book, right? They're just going to have, uh, there's going to be different styles of translation, that sort of thing. So really it's my towel. You can see my towel <laughs> hanging there. That's my bathroom door. Anyway, so, um, so I thought I would just give a little clarification on how this uh, reading plan works and about the edition, uh, what translation you should get. And I'm thinking either the Penguin Classics or a translation, an unabridged translation by Marcus Dodds. That those seem to be the two most popular and easy to get. Okay, I hope you found this helpful. Bye-bye.